trying to sell fake stories to newspapers. And this is one I tried to sell to the Sun newspaper. I'll just read it to you. I wrote, I was recently walking through London Soho when I spotted Matt Baker from the BBC One show on his phone in the street. He seemed angry about something, and at one point he was so angry that, to my amazement, he tried to kick a pigeon. <laughs> He had about three attempts, and on one of them he did clip its wing. He was shouting what sounded like, die pigeon prick. <laughs> this didn't happen in any way, I've never met Matt Baker. I managed to get some pictures, I was wondering how much you might be interested in buying them for. I got a reply from the Sun newspaper within two minutes. Yeah. Wow. They said, Joe, kicking a pigeon, question mark. That is pretty shitty for a one-show bloke. <laughs> That's quite colloquial for a first email back, I think. <laughs> Can you send me the pictures? Cheers. I can't give his real name for legal reasons, so I call him Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Rodney, my lawyer says I shouldn't send you the full pictures until I have an offer from you as to how much you'll pay for them. I've attached a cropped version of one of the shots for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, bro. Any response? He replied, that's a photo of a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Very astute. Here's my photo of a pigeon. He attached that one on the top there. <laughs> he also attached a picture of Matt Baker and said, can you send me a picture of this man kicking a pigeon? <laughs> so I sent him a curveball and I just said, is that a picture of Matt Baker? I thought he was Chinese. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think we need a soundboard button with Jimmy's laugh. Yeah. I need to. I, I have to. It just adds more like comedic value to everything. It's fucking like stupid. He replied, you thought he was Chinese, question mark. You mean you have a picture of a Chinese man kicking a pigeon? <laughs> I said, yes, how much will you pay for it? <laughs> He said, I fear we might be wasting each other's time. Good day. <laughs> said, You'll be sorry when you see tomorrow's Guardian front page. Good day. Uh, so I spend a lot of time writing letters, and I found the email address of the CEO of Network Rail. He owns all of the train stations in the United Kingdom. Mm. So I genuinely wrote this. Dear Sir, <laughs> I am contacting you regarding an urgent emergency at London Euston. Last night, I enjoyed a prawn masala and garlic naan from a curry house in Peckham. I had concerns about the hygiene standards of the establishment, but was blinded by my hunger and chose to ignore the warning signs. <laughs> Thus today, I have been, as my father would say, pissing through my arse. <laughs> 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 The you. reason this is relevant to you is that I currently find myself at London Euston train station without 30 pence. <laughs> Some of you might be ahead of me on this. As your toilet facilities demand this fee and I'm about to explode, I am left in a most perilous position. <laughs> I have managed to find some privacy and I'm currently perched behind a bin on one of the platforms near Delicia de France, hey. desperately trying to hold in what I anticipate to be a towering cascading waterfall of post masala sadness. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering if you might be able to lend me some of your £675,000 salary, then I put in brackets, that would buy you 2.25 million train station <laughs> toilet trips, you lucky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> To avoid this 2.25 million train station <laughs> toilet trips, you lucky bugger. I'm just asking for a friend. Can you guys put whoever she is down below? I'm asking for a friend, okay? Don't do it, guys. Totally. Well, bro, what's your problem? Why can't he? Can a man just be happy for once? Nah. Okay, just ask him. your type. Ask, what do you yeah. mean that's not my type? What are you talking about? Wait till bro, our, what are you talking about? Wait till <laughs> our trip to the UK. I thought we were just going there to meet fans. Yeah, what? What is what? wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, me, yeah. Yeah, meet fans. Stuff, yeah. What are you talking fucking about? Meeting fan I can't meet female fans too? What the You're fuck? Criminal. Bro, we have no female fans. <laughs> yeah, we do. 12% I checked last time. 12% <laughs> of them are female. What's wrong oh, with you, man? man? It was just a simple question. You guys turn it into something else, you fucking dick. <laughs> to avoid this impending atrocity, either that or perhaps stop charging for what most people would consider to be a basic human right. Regards, Joe Lysa, I also put, P.S., should you lend me the money, I would be delighted to invite you for tea at my home to say thank you, but please give me plenty of notice as I'll need to install a turnstile outside the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I put, P.P.S., you're literally taking the piss. <laughs> 
I uh, get a lot of parking fines. Ah. And I have realised if you ask for evidence, then often you can get out of the fine. Now, I was up <laughs> north doing a show and I got mm -hmm. a fine, so I emailed the council asking for the evidence. I got an email from some woman called Steph who said, Mr Lysett, I have passed your email on to the Freedom of Information team. Hopefully they'll be in touch with you soon. Oh. Now, I didn't like that word, hopefully, so I replied, <laughs> Steph, sadly, hopefully, doth butter no parsnips. <laughs> 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 Can I have an email address for the person you have contacted? My lawyers would like to contact them directly. You have been very helpful, and hopefully you won't get caught up in the forthcoming. <laughs> <laughs> the forthcoming was sinister enough. Then he replied, Mr Lysett, I'm not sure what you mean about buttered parsnips. <laughs> <laughs> I've cc'd in the FOI team, will advise. Now I've got an email from someone called Colin, who said, Mr Lysett, your request is very broad, so I've assumed you only want information pertinent to your recent parking fine. Attached is the evidence which we have, which are photographs of your car clearly parked in a taxi rank. Now, the photographs they had are of my window, which had a taxi rank <laughs> written on what it by presumably a disgruntled taxi driver. But there's actually no evidence of a taxi rank in that photograph. So I went back to Colin, didn't I? <laughs> I said, Mr Colin, when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I see that your evidence is nothing more than a picture of the words taxi rank written on my car. I would argue this evidence is insufficient. I also put PS apologies for the delay in replying to your previous email. I'm currently on the Costa del Sol. I provided evidence of this and then I just put this picture. <laughs> 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 This man's laughing. Yeah. I said, Mr. Lysa, in order to reverse the fine, you will need to provide evidence that your vehicle was not in a taxi rank. So I said, Oh, Mr. Colin, evidence supplied. I was actually parked on the moon, as you can see clearly. <laughs> 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 that would have doubled his fine. <laughs> I got a reply. Mr. Lysett, I've cancelled the fine. <laughs> Next time I was on this show, I received a little bit of feedback from a, a viewer oh, who, God. for legal reasons, we're going to call Brian. <laughs> I received it about 3am after the broadcast. The subject was 8 out of 10 cars. <laughs> Just saw you on the show and had to email you to oh. tell you, you are shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Carr is the best thing about that show by miles. You're not even remotely funny. Here's some advice. Find another job. You're a dick. Aw, <laughs> uh, they misspelled your. <laughs> Please consider the environment. Do you really need to print this email? <laughs> <laughs> what Brian did, foolishly, is he left his email signature on from his workplace. Oh! His, uh, solicitors. <laughs> so I replied, Dearest Brian... <laughs> Thank you for your email regarding my recent appearance on 8 Out of 10 Cars, the spin-off show to the very popular oh, 8 em. Out of 10 Cats. <laughs> <laughs> I read with great interest your thoughts on Jimmy Carr. He is indeed a fantastic comedian and broadcaster. As you left your address for your workplace on your email signature, I've had it arranged for a signed photograph of Jimmy to be posted <laughs> to you to thank you for your feedback. Yours, Joe Lysa. I also put P.S. I will now spend some time considering the environment before printing your emails. <laughs> <laughs> he then sent me an email very quickly back. He replied... Um, please don't send me any stuff. This is my workplace. Sorry about the last email. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, I sent him this picture, which is your picture with my autograph on it. <laughs> <laughs> I then replied to him, my beloved Brian, thank you for your apology, but it is unnecessary. If anything, I actually owe you an apology, as I've sent what is clearly my autograph on a Jimmy Carr picture. <laughs> I practised my signature on leftover <laughs> photographs of Jimmy, and there must have been a clerical error. I've had Jimmy's signature sent to you first class this morning with my compliments. Forever yours, Joe Lysa. I also put P.S. I'm still considering <laughs> yeah. the environment. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please don't send stuff to my office. I'm sorry for sending the first email. I was drunk. I Too late, I'd sent him this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is how I sign my name. <laughs> he then replied, Honestly, mate, what the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've apologised and you're still sending stuff. This is my workplace, man. Oh. The glitter got everywhere. Oh, I added glitter to the envelope. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I replied, OK, Brian, I'll stop sending you stuff. I should tell you I've finished my considerations as to the environment before printing your emails and have decided to print them regardless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are in the post to your offices and addressed to the manager. Oh. So a one-word reply from Brian, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian. I like writing letters, particularly letters of complaint. And I, um, I recently got a parking fine on Christmas Eve in Birmingham city centre. So I, I wrote this letter of complaint. Now, I, my friends say that they think I went in too heavy. I don't think I did. I wrote, Dear Bastards. <laughs> That's fair, isn't it? I got a parking ticket in Birmingham City Centre on the 24th of December. You may be more familiar with this date's more popular name, Christmas Eve. <laughs> I was in town buying food and toys for some sick and starving children. <laughs> that I look after in a local orphanage, plus a small gift for my ageing mother, brackets, some novelty chocolates in the shape of male genitalia, <laughs> actually named Cocklets. <laughs> When I return to my car, you can imagine my surprise and disappointment to find a parking ticket was affixed to the windscreen. I cried as Jesus did on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive these sinners, they know not what they do. That's actually Easter, but I got confused. <laughs> I may have also chased wow. your parking enforcement officer shouting, Die Judas. <laughs> I'm willing to offer as payment a bottle of sherry, Christmas cheer and all that. What? If you fail to pay within 14 days, it will be reduced to half a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> if you refuse this offer, I will have to pay the fine using money from the orphanage, which will force me to starve one of the weaker children. Of course, you touched a picture. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that like me. Me as a child. He's a <laughs> six year old boy with fair hair and the voice of an angel. <laughs> Support. P.S. Just to be absolutely clear, if you do not cancel the fine, I will kill a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, I've got some of work? my comedy correspondence. <laughs> I always leave my Christmas shopping to the last minute, and last year was no exception. On the 23rd of December, I found a bowl, a fruit bowl, that I thought my mother would quite like on an online store based in Birmingham, which is where I live. So I emailed them to ask if I could uh, get the delivery quicker than their usual five working days, because I needed it for Christmas. I received this email from Chris. He said, Mr Lysett, thank you for your email. This item is an online exclusive, therefore we can only arrange it online. Delivery is five working days. Kind regards, Chris. I'm not sure his regards were kind, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I replied, dear Chris, Thank you for your kind regards. The issue is that I need the bowl tomorrow as it's a Christmas gift. Is there no way I can pay extra for next day delivery or pay online and collect it? Very kind regards, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr Lysett, we only offer delivery in five working days, unfortunately. Yo. Kind regards, Chris. <laughs> Definitely unkind. <laughs> so I replied, Chris. I need this bowl for Christmas Day, which occurs famously, famously. on the 20th of December. <laughs> Where does the bowl reside? <laughs> Is it in physical form in your shop in Birmingham, or does it exist as an ethereal spirit <laughs> within the internet, manifesting itself only when purchased through your online store? Regards, Joe. He replied, Mr Lysett, I see. Well done, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> as it is an online exclusive, but as a gesture of goodwill, that can be arranged. If you order through the website and come in later, you can collect kind regards. Is that Chris. so hard? So I went in, paid four ninety nine postage and packaging on the website. Went in, collected the bowl, gave it to Mum. She loved it. Very nice Christmas. A few days after New Year, another bowl arrives at the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get this email, Mr. Lysett. I'm contacting you regarding your purchase. We sent you a bowl in error after you collected one from our shop. Could you return it to us? If you would like to keep it, we can arrange <laughs> payment for it. Kind regards, Chris. So I replied, Hello, Chris. Here is the bowl, and just attached a picture of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, Mr. Lysett, that's the bowl I'm referring to. Could you advise when you'll be returning the bowl? I replied, I don't understand, Chris. I returned the bowl in the last email. The bowl oh, is on just my <laughs> That was good. It exists within that the email. <laughs> As a gesture of goodwill, if you send me the 4 99 I paid for postage and packaging, I'll return it in physical form. All yeah. Right now, Joe, he replied, keep the bowl and keep the change and just attach a picture of a fiver. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what okay. a go. That last one just topped it all off. Yeah, that yeah, last one was, was amazing. Uh, it's another guy I've never heard of, to be honest. Um, Joe, Li uh, Joe Lysett? Right, that's Joe what he Lysett. Said. Joe Lysett. Yeah. Lysett. 
Talks a lot, but he's kind of funny. I like, funny. I like the sarcasm. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> wish uh, I wish we got to send uh, emails like that at work, bro. Yo. Like, mm, fucking always so formal. Yo, he, he's speaking facts about the... um. Like when you write like sincerely or kind yeah, oh, regards. Yeah, 100%. Never I don't mean that. that. I, I, don't, I never put that. I, I put, just say thanks. What do you I put? put? You put thanks or best I put best. I, I just mine, put best. Just that's, best. That's mine. Best, right? It's been for a long time. It's pretty neutral. It's best. But like, you know, when it's like a Friday, you, yeah. you, you, you know, they've let, they made your work late and then you got to yeah, send yeah, something yeah, through yeah. and you know, you're like, you like, uh, 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 have a good weekend. Yeah. I'm really saying good fucking riddance. Yeah, like, no. F you guys. It's like, how, how could you make me work best at 5 p.m. on a Friday? Like really five, would it would be like seven or something. Whatever. Like these, like these people will annoy me. I'll be like, the best. Yeah. Yeah. And I, because like, so I used to get caught by that, like, best regards. And then yeah. sometimes when I used to be tight, I'll just put like regards. So I just started putting best all the time. Yep. Um, But this he's witty -ish. A lot of these guys on these shows, remember we watched the, uh, what's the other, Kevin Bridges? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On, uh, what was the show? Uh, what what I, I Like to you? you? Yeah, yeah. And then we got to check out the guy in the middle, the Lee Mack. Lee um, Mack. I, they're so they're witty. I don't know. I feel like one thing us Americans lack is the wit, bro. The sarcasm. Yeah, I, I think it's because everybody's just weird about yeah. it, about the whole humor thing. Nobody's like witty and quick on their feet. I feel like we lack in that department. Um, we have the sarcasm though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, New York, yeah, New York, sure. But I, I don't think it's all. Uh, That's like it's for example, all. like if you travel, because I've traveled, I've been to other states before. It's not the same though. Of course, like not. you'll say something, people will look at you like. And you'll be like, oh, so you're not laughing. Okay, this is weird now. And it's, you know, it's not the same in all of New York either. <clears throat> That's true. Well, yeah, if you go yeah, upstate, you know, they're fucking yeah. weird and shit. Like, usually if you ask someone you are for help or directions, they'll usually tell you. When I was in Michigan, I, I was trying to get directions to something. The, the lady just like ran away from me. All right, that's a, that, that's a different problem. Uh, I'd run away from you too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she probably saw your face. Yeah, you guys, you guys, are, you guys are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about wit, you feel me? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I, it's, a, it's a little there. Yeah, it's a little there. It was not bad. It wasn't bad. Um, anyway, this was right. You still looking at me? <laughs> what the fuck, Jesus? If you looked at her that way, god damn, no wonder she, bro. You do come off a little like smug, scared. I just smug, but yeah, like. Can't tell if you're trying to rub, rob me or hug me, bro. It's, something, it's just weird. What? <laughs> I'm not trying to hug you, bro. I know. This is our banter. Then I guess um, it only leaves one option. <laughs> so, heads to running away. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, thank you to... Oh, I'm forgetting the name. I'm sorry. You know who you are that recommended it. Oh, we see you in the comments. Thank you. So, I have to give this video. Shout out to you. To you. Uh, let us know what else you guys want us to watch. Um, taking some recommendations. Uh, yeah. Got a lot more material to come out. Wrote to 100K subs. Yes, sir. If you made it this far, if you didn't make it this far, that means you're a real one. So that means we're going to let you know that our Patreon is down below for the rest of the real ones. And yep. you guys have been recommending so many shows. We're probably already doing it on, on Patreon. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, so check that down below if you want to If you want to give that a gander. Um, Comment if you think still scary looking. <laughs> True. And yo, remember, put that put, put her name in the comment section. Yeah. Don't do that, bro. Come on. <laughs>